Hey everyone, welcome to the program WRSA Radio. I am your host, Grenadier One. We are back after a week off for the holidays. Uh, I hope you guys had a good one. Uh, got a chance to spend some time with your family and enjoy Thanksgiving and truly be thankful. I know it's hard these days to to be thankful for everything considering what we're all going through, but there are little things and and then good things still out there that we can certainly be thankful for. I was able to see my family and spend a couple of days with them, uh, and it was really good to do that. So I didn't do a show last week uh, because of that. If you didn't see the notification or, or get a notification, I, I just announced it over on Gab, which is generally where I will put those kinds of things uh, if they come up, if I'm having technical difficulties, or if, you know, in this case... Uh, holiday week and I decided not to do a program. So uh, if you want, you know, those kind of updates, you, you have to go over to Gab to, to see those. Uh, if, I, if I think about it, I can get uh, uh, Concerned American to post them on to the Mothership website, but uh, he was busy as well with the holidays and I just didn't want to bother him with that, so I just put it on Gab. But anyway, now uh, it's time to get back to work and focus on delivering a show. So what are we going to cover today? Uh, There's a lot going on, and I've not really been focused on one thing this week, so I'm going to just kind of have fun, and, and, you know, because I don't think that anything currently going on is really anything other than just the absurdity and and clown world par excellence, Um, kind of just the state of where we are these days. Uh, crazy things happening and it just seems to be one after the other and it's it's hard to really keep up. Now the big news this week of course is the new and improved Omicron variant of the COOF. That's you know the word coming out that's the thing that they want to be uh, everybody to be focused on. Do you feel that? Do you, do you feel the terror building inside of you? The fear and the apprehension? You feel it? You should be feeling it right about now. It's it's new. It's scary. It's unknown. You you should be afraid. You should be demanding that someone do something. You should be balling all of that fear up inside of you until it festers into anger. You should be turning that anger into hatred and then directing all that hatred towards the target that the government has told you is responsible for all of this. The group of people who have solely been the reason that this virus continues to spread and continues to threaten the wholesome and good vaccinated people of the world. The vaccinated people who continue to get sick because of these selfish and dangerous people. These heathen, backward, unvaccinated. You should be hating them right now. But of course you don't hate them because... If you're listening to this show, odds are you're one of them. <laughs> Make no mistake about it. This is exactly what underlies this entire propaganda campaign about the, you know, double plus max reward program variant that has appeared this week. So uh, the story goes that the that in South Africa, oddly enough, this this new variant appears this week that. Several travelers tested positive while awaiting flights, uh, and that subsequently it was determined that they had this new variant of the COOF. And that, that's the story we got. They, you know, then we're told, you know, all to be to be scared. And and the very first thing that our government and the other governments of the West do is shut down travel from South Africa uh, and a few other places. Uh, and then the next phase of the response was for our governments to announce that they were in talks with the drug companies to get a new round of vaccines manufactured to cover this new Megatron variant. They did all of these things in a matter of a couple of days. Now, I don't know about you, but honestly, I'm calling bullshit on that. We all know that government does not work that quickly. Uh, And even if we allow for the U.S. government to be that efficient and to be working that quickly... It does not explain the the speed at which these foreign governments acted and worked to respond to this newly discovered variant. Not to mention how quickly 
this new variant was identified. I, now, I'm not a geneticist, so maybe I'm off base here, but and I'm not a virologist either, for that matter, but uh, it seems to me that discovering a variation on the COOF DNA would take more than a few hours and would, of course, not be happening at some airport COVID checkpoint. So we're looking at detecting sick travelers, deciding for some reason that they were not just carrying a mild form of normal COOF, the COOF that we're that we've been seeing to this point, and that you needed to check deeper into the variant that they were sick with. And then you do genetic sequencing and discover that it was a new version of the virus that had mutated, not just a little bit, uh, but in a number of ways, according to one guy that I saw, and I you know, haven't read every article about this, this thing, but uh, one guy uh, that I saw interviewed uh, said that it had multiple mutations and variations, and then putting into motion the notification worldwide that this was a thing and developing a way to test for it and identify this new variant so that cases could be found in other countries in people who had recently traveled to South Africa. And you accomplished this and did all of this in just a matter of days. Yeah. Am I the one, the only one that, that calls bullshit on that? Am I the only one that thinks this was something already in motion from a week or two back and it's taken them longer to just openly speak about it, to react about it publicly? Which means all of the travel bans that they've put into place are worthless since you already had a week or more of travel from those locations going on? Maybe I'm wrong here and they can act that quickly because they have some infrastructure in place to do this, but I just don't believe that that to be the case. I, I Hopefully one of you out there can set me straight on that. Maybe somebody out there knows uh, you know, more about the details of how this, this process works. You know, I'm sure that uh, if you've got something to test for, you know, the testing could happen very, very easily, very quickly, and, and you know, maybe you could detect what type of variant it was at a forward point if you've got a test that tests for that thing. But how do you detect a new variant at a checkpoint in the field like that? And, you know, again, why, why would you take, a t take test, positive tests that you've got at, at a checkpoint and test them further for variation and type like that? Unless you knew you were looking for something specifically. Or you had an agenda. Now, regardless, according to the folks on the ground there in South Africa, this Optimus Prime variant is actually very mild, and they've had no hospitalizations, and it's basically been nothing more than a sniffle. And there's no reason to go bat soup crazy over this and overreact to it. Now, that advice was, of course, immediately rejected by most of the Western world, and they overreacted. Uh, Pre President Biden says that he's not going to put new mandates and lockdowns in place, but he is considering requiring jabs in order to travel across state lines in the United States. Because, you know, that's not a lockdown or a variant or, or, or a, a mandate. Uh, the administration then suggested that this new Unicron variant was somehow responsible for supply chain delays and, and inflation. And I shit you not on that last one. The, how does this new variant that just popped up this week play into supply chain problems that have been going on for months and months and months? That's the level of intelligence we're dealing with here and how stupid they think we are. Now, I'm sure that we'll very soon learn that this Omicron is the cause of crop failures and food shortages and that the rationing that we all have to do is totally the fault of the unvaccinated. Anyway, take all of this, package it up into canned messages and files and then just repeat it every five or six months, and, and you have our future to accompany new rounds of boosters and totally unrelated deaths in perfectly healthy young people and athletes. 
at least until we are completely broken and have fully subjected ourselves to their new system of control and compliance. It's a pretty bleak picture, isn't it? It's kind of a hell of a way to come back from a holiday. But I don't think it's too far off. I don't think I'm, I'm just rambling and speculating here. This, this is reading the tea leaves and the goat entrails that are already out there. We've not even gotten to the concentration camp in Australia, but we'll touch on that here. So this week uh, we got a little bit of a show from those blokes and Sheila's down under. Some fad dinkum insanity happened at the uh, the so-called wellness camp when three teenagers, uh, you know, had enough of the quarantine and decided that they were going to climb the fence and GTFO. Um, This set off a massive police response, which included traffic checkpoints, uh, searches of vehicles, foot searches, and alerts being put out on TV and radio. And eventually the three were caught and returned to the camp. And they all tested negative for COOF, by the way. Now, I don't know about you, but that appeared to be, for all intents and purposes, a response that is exactly identical to a prison break. Okay, the exact same way that you would handle three escaped convicts to capture them and return them to prison. So for anyone who tells you that these so-called wellness camps are anything other than a prison, you know, tell them to consume a satchel of Richards. This is, this is evident. This is self-evident at this point. We, we can all see what this is. We can all see that this is coming to the U.S. and other Western countries as soon as they can incrementally implement it. I have no doubt about that. Australia is the test case. Everything that they are doing there is trickling up to other countries. You know, Like I said, it's just no doubt at this point that the elites are going for it full bore. Austria... Then Germany both announced this week that they were going to enact mandatory vaccinations for all of their populations, uh, and they were looking at deadlines for that. And and I I kind of find it funny how the Germans have always seemed to be following the lead of the Austrians for some reason. Uh, And the last time they did that, it led to an explosion of global communism. I kind of have to scratch my head about that. Hmm, something, something doesn't seem right there, does it? So what are we dealing with here? Why are these people so hell-bent on getting the entire world injected with this medicine? And the, the simple answer is that it's a control measure. And we've, all, we've talked about that, and people all over social media have assumed that to be the case. And there's various layers of that idea, ranging from a simply a way to force you to comply and keep you in line, by demanding that you take this medicine that really does nothing, all the way to a means to control you because you will die if you, you know, actually don't take this medicine. You'll you'll actually die. And then again, there are others that suggest that the die-off from the medicine is the goal, and population control is what is going on. And I think I think those are all possible reasons and possible plans that are in the works here. But I tend to dig deeper than that. I I tend to look for there to be multiple layers of reasons and motivations, and that's because this is how these people work. Nothing is ever as simple as it seems on the surface when we talk about these elites and their, their planning and how they operate. It's always carrying layers and meaning and symbolism in what they do. This week I watched a couple of videos on uh, the Dark Journalist channel, uh, and they got me thinking heavily along these lines. And one of the videos, you know, outright stated a reason for what may be going on. There's often talk online about how these medicines actually work and what they do inside your body. And a lot of that, I think, is speculation that people think they know, but they really don't know. And, you know, some of it may be good information. I, I don't know. I don't know how to sort through all of that. I, I read those things and... And I, I kind of take them all with a grain of salt and say, well, you know, maybe that explains some things, maybe it doesn't. There are memes that talk about, you know, still being 100% human because this medicine is said to alter the actual DNA in your body. 
In fact, I, I joked with my wife about being, you know, 100% organic and non-GMO uh, because I had not taken the vaccine or we have not taken the vaccine. Uh, this week, we had some acknowledgement of that from, you know, a major media source. And then they self-censored their own article to change the headline and remove that acknowledgement from it. Uh, the article said, well, yes, the meds alter your DNA a little bit, but that's a good thing. And, and that got taken down ASAP. That was a shut it down. You know, don't let anybody know about that. Uh, and there's a reason for that, of course. They, they don't want anyone even going down that route because <laughs> that way there be dragons. Or perhaps more appropriately, that way there be demons. Uh, Steiner, Rudolf Steiner, says in one of his works that our bodies are made in such a way that they are only compatible with our spirits, that they, they had to evolve to the point that they could conjoin with or join with our spiritual bodies and that they were not suitable for lesser spiritual entities. These, these lesser entities could not incarnate in a human form. So what if this injection that they are so hell-bent on delivering to all of us alters our DNA to the point that we are no longer fully human? And then we're more open to those lesser entities. We become more suitable and more compatible for something else. Now, honestly, that's terrifying. <laughs> These people must be stopped and we must do whatever it takes to accomplish that. And that's all I got time for this week. Like and subscribe. Come see me over on Gab and the Mothership, and I will see you next episode.